everyone, my name is Tanya Ramjohn. Thanks for tuning in to hear all about my research proposal and how you can help me achieve my desired study in finding out if Instagram brand aesthetic is correlated with attractiveness and how it potentially impacts sales within modern reality sales. Okay, so first I'm going to explain how um, the impact of social media marketing um, has on Instagram. These five major bullet points that I have listed kind of represent the impact that it has. First, uh, immediate engagement with the target public, so who you're trying to reach, you can automatically converse with them, um, communicate with them, which is great with your marketing. Which is amazing because you can really um, empower your brand, really get your name out there, be creative. Um, it allows um, a platform to do a brand's identity, the creativity of the brand's identity. Um, they really sold on that and um, they stand on that. Functional brand building allows for other brands to be a part of other different brands, and that really builds. Um, the community within social media and those clothing brands specifically on Instagram. Um, and then lastly is the growing interest within um, the world of aesthetics, that aesthetics value um, that's really popular right now within um, attractiveness between um, why you choose a brand over another brand, um, especially when you see them on Instagram, like, oh, this page is help them together with this page. This one, aesthetics has a huge impact on why people choose the brands that they do today. Okay, so next up is my research goal, and I want to determine if um, the aesthetic of a popular, well-liked, most viewed clothing brand's Instagram account does significantly impact the way that millennial women on Liberty's University's campus specifically are attracted to the brand. Um, this study will determine the impact of an Instagram clothing brand's future development within the demographic, um, and it will also allow brands to alter their marketing to best research and attract their desired millennial target publics and how they can um, adjust how they market to do to the, pu the target publics that they're trying to reach. So. Okay, so the big plan, the outlook of the whole deal. Over to the left of this slide, I have posted a layout of a couple um, photos from the same clothing brand and how they use a specific color palette. That neutral, light greens, black, grays, browns, sands, whites, to really cause differentiation within the photos, but also to allow that cohesiveness, show that aesthetic um, that specifically um, attracts Liberty University's millennial women um, to be interactive with this brand, and what if this value really impacts why they chose to shop with them, purchase with them, um, especially in 2020 with all the social media and the trends going on. This is really big. Um, and then over to the right bottom, um, again, I state um, I want to research the top 10 most liked, popular, viewed clothing brands that are on Instagram. Um, and after I do that research, I want to survey millennial women on the Liberty's campus and ask them, what aesthetically attracts you to interact with this specific brand's Instagram account? And does the aesthetic really matter why you want to purchase from them, um, view their account, follow them? Um, and to do all this, I need help with your funding um, and your approval that I can do this. And it really does impact um, the world we live in today and how it can impact marketing and sales. Okay, 
to wrap up, um, on this slide, again, on the left, I have posted um, six photos that kind of represent still that aesthetic value, just in a different form, um, a different color pattern, a different background, um, but still achieving that same goal of um, attractiveness, cohesiveness, um, aesthetic. Um, and I wanted to state on the right side what exactly this research shows and how it impacts your life and how it's significant to not only just live in universities with millennial women, but um, all types of demographics, psychographics, all of that. So um, I have stated that this will potentially show how a brand's image or their desired aesthetic design displays a consistent color pattern. Um, it shows an organizational theme, and how that can be impactful on sales reach within all demographics, all psychographics. Um, but specifically within this research, um, I'm targeting obviously millennial age women uh, living in the university's campus. Um, so yeah, this is relevant in our world today. It's relevant research. Um, it's impactful on how you choose to pick your clothing brands, how you choose to pick your um, decor brands when you shop, your um, what you know, grocery store you pick from, um, small things like that, the way they represent themselves, their color, their aesthetic, their organization, that impacts how you shop, that impacts where you put your money and your attention. Um, so this, this research is relevant. It, it is today. Um, it is important within social media and marketing today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you enjoyed um, what you saw, what you heard. And I hope you did learn something.